we have arrived at Target. Let's see what we can get for low points and great snacks. Come hither with me. All right, let's start off in the protein section. As I all start most of my videos, I was interested in these cookies because I have hauled, and I mean, I should say I've tried these cookies before and I've really enjoyed them. Some of them are higher in points than others, so you really need to check each one. Quest has a lot of good candy options. There's the Quest Party Cake, there's the One Bars, and there's the Tone It Up has cookies of their own. But I'm looking for some Premier Protein, which, yeah, it's not there. It's, the, the selection of protein is really, really sad. But I was looking for pumpkin or cinnamon roll, which they did not have. I have caramel. I have vanilla. So I look at the empty shelves. It's it's sad. This was never like this. So there's Quest. A couple of different, but mostly bare shelves. And over here is the protein powders. And you will see I did haul one of these. I think I've kind of written off muscle milk. I just think it's too high in points. So I did try a different one and we will see that in my haul at the end of this video. But there's all this, there's all the different collagens that Target offers. So definitely a good selection. You definitely should go there and check it out. And this slim fast section, of course, of course. So look at the Quest chips. They have a huge selection of Quest chips and some more of the cookies. Quest has really come a long way on a lot of things, but the whole end cap full of the Quest stuff. So yeah, I love their chips. So this is the cereal section. Now you will see keto cereal, you will see magic spoon. So these are all like high protein. Some of them are keto cereals, definitely go scan. And there's some interesting granolas here. So again, Walmart and Target have upped it. And here is Kodiak cakes, because I always have to show you the Kodiak cakes because yeah, there is a new flavor. I've never seen blueberry, blueberry pancakes. There you go. And they have redone the pumpkin, so I will be getting a box of that. And we will be doing a tasting later in this video. So, yeah, I thought I'd try because, you know, I love pumpkin. I'm all about pumpkin. Duh. And look, Partake even has a pancake mix, but the protein isn't quite as high in that one. And, of course, they have the Birch Benders as well. Uh, look, at the, look at that one. Timmy would love the Cinnamon Toast Crunch pancakes. <laughs> so here we are in the tea section because you know and the tazo teas my store only carries those two but there is a pumpkin chai that i had to get you know but yeah there's china is a really good selection of teas so if you're a teetotaler like myself you will definitely can get a great selection there and we will see they also have poop tea yes you know if you're having trouble in that area i highly recommend that tea oh <laughs> uh, yeah You've been watching my channel way too long. That's all about the tea. And here we are in the uh, the um, harvest cereal section. Look at all these. Mini Wheats has pumpkin. Kellogg's has pumpkin. There's pumpkin Cheerios. Now here we are. Look, I was very sad. This is the Halloween snack section. Yeah, either it's not all out yet. That's what I'm thinking because they were loading the shelves. But I was a bit sad, so we're going to have to go back. But... Yeah, they didn't have much of anything that I was looking for, but they did have my veggie chips, so I did grab those. But yeah, no pretzels. They did have the cheese balls. I don't know if you'll see them here, but I did see them. They did have the cheese balls, but I wasn't interested in the cheese balls, so I didn't get them. But there's a couple different ones, and a few of the goldfish, and look at the Oreo, holiday Oreos. So yeah, harvest Oreos. So definitely have some interesting things. They had popcorn, they have the made good, and there's the Partake cookies. I've never seen Partake there before, so I did grab a box of those, because it's all about cookies. They have apple, unsweetened applesauce and pouches, which I thought was cool, kind of interesting. But, and look at these, see this Yum Earth? Their little bags are only three points a bag, which I didn't think was terrible for a little candy bag. So, you know, there's definitely some candy options you know, we could be looking at. I'm gonna show you a few more. Because just because you're in WW or weight loss journey doesn't mean you can't have candy. And look, this is the all the edible Halloween stuff. If you're a person that has Halloween parties, there's some fun decor and edible decor and fun stuff for parties. But I'm not a Halloween person. <laughs> Never was. Even as a kid, I did not like Halloween. Look at the lilies. Look at all the selection of lily bars. I, I've never remember them having that many lilies. 
And of course, one went accidentally into my cart, which you will see in the haul. And look at these. I love these little minis from Giardelli. They're quite point friendly. Who says you can't have chocolate? You just have to have smaller amounts. You know, it's a lifestyle, people. And look at these pretzel thins. You could have with drizzled with caramel and chocolate because they're thin. It'll become lesser points. And the rice cake section because, you know, how to grab me a bag of caramel rice cakes because everybody's having caramel rice cakes and peanut butter. You know, Dee's been doing that for quite a many years. But yeah, I didn't have any caramel, so I grabbed a caramel rice cake. And look at these. Look at the selection of the zero sugar candies. I don't know if it's for diabetics. I don't know. It's it's just, I've never seen so much. And then look, look at all the thins, the Reese thins, all different flavors, white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I, I It's just crazy that there's a lot of options. Uh, so, you know, for us out there, that we just have to go and find them. As you saw from the video, there wasn't much on the shelves at my Target. I don't know if they're just not ready yet. So they had what, I mean, they didn't have the pretzels. They did have the the chips so I got those and I showed you interesting other finds and we will do a haul when I get home but of course our target has a Starbucks so I got me a tall green tea and they're always funny when you're like unsweetened they're like unsweetened like yeah so we'll go home we'll undo our bags we'll do a little haul for the target all right let's show you what I got and I will say I was a little bit disappointed that a lot of the stuff wasn't out but know what that means we have to go back so maybe we'll go back in a vlog i'll just do like a vlog style video and we'll take a trip to target and see what else we can get because there was a couple things like i said i wasn't going to get a whole lot but the only thing i did get were these i love the monster shaped veggie chips they're two dot two dollars Two points of bag so i love love having these for lunch it's just enough it's great to have with dip it's great to have with a wrap or a sandwich Ladies, you should be having a little bit of chips with your lunch, and you could definitely could afford these. They're 70 calories. No. And the other thing that I got in that section was these, and I've never seen these before. Heart cake cookies. They are chocolate chip. They come 10 small bags. Each bag is three points. Now it's a cookie, and it's made with regular sugar, so they're not sugar free. So I don't think that's bad for a bag of cookies because I'm telling you, I'm having cookies and you're going to see that in this haul. So I thought these were good. Now, Weight Watchers sells Partake cookies at their workshop. So Partake must be a good brand. I don't know. So I did go in the cereal department, which you did see, and I wound up getting this one instead of the Magic Spoon. I thought just the points were better. The price was, I think, a, was it either the same or a little bit cheaper? I don't remember. But I thought it just sounded interesting. I like peanut butter. They did have peanut butter in um, Magic Spoon, but this one is only four points for a cup. So I thought, and look at the protein. 17 grams of protein. It was higher, I think, than the Magic Spoon. So honestly, I am well happy to try this. Again, I'm not going to eat it as cereal. I'm going to eat it as granola on top of cereal, or maybe a handful as a snack. You know, you just gotta, you know. And here's where I got cookie wasted in the protein section. Now, mind you, I share these with Peter, who is my youngest, who is very into working out and bodybuilding and stuff like that. He's trying to build some, you know, muscle up in his upper body. So I don't need all these myself. So just know that. Let's give that disclaimer. So, you know, I had these. I tasted these in a video. These are absolutely delicious. And they're only five points for a cookie. And it's a big size cookie. It's totally delicious and totally worth it. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the Quest protein powders and the bars, just a little bit not. I don't like the texture of them, but these cookies, now all the cookies are different points. I will put that out there. The chocolate chip and the Snickers are way too pointy for me, but the peanut butter, I was all for that one. And I did get another one, which had peanut butter in it too. This is for our peanut butter chocolate chip. These are five points as well, 220 calories for both. So honestly, you gotta have a cookie, and why not have a cookie with 16 grams of protein? I don't know. That's where my mind's at. And now I saw this one, which I've never tried. I never even tried this brand, but I know a lot of people use the Tone It Up, but they have a whole selection of cookies. Now these only have 10 grams of protein, but they're all, there's one point less, they're four points. Like I said, the Snickerdoodle in Quest was I think six or seven or eight, it was high. 
So I thought it would be fun to try the toted up cookie. So look forward to a tasting from these. And if I like them, I will definitely try another flavor. I was in the tea section as you saw, but they had the pumpkin chai spice. Do I need tea? No, but I'm running low on pumpkin chai spice. So it was on sale, so I grabbed a box. Now these, I wasn't supposed to buy these. I was just checking the price and the points and stuff like that. I think I got distracted and went into my cart. <laughs> these are the Lily's Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. You get two cups for six points. One cup is three points. They won't get wasted, but I didn't intend to buy them. It happens. You know what happens. But I did intend to buy these, which you saw. Did you see the big selection of thins that they had? I was duly impressed. These are... Uh, nine points for three, so three points a thin. So I'm excited about this. Now granted, um, the Lilies is a little bit better in points, but you know what? I think, right? Did I say that? Yeah, they're the same. And I wonder if these are just as thin as these. Well, when we taste it, we'll do a comparison. Oh, would that be fun? It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Might as well be me. And caramel rice cakes. These are absolutely everywhere on WW these days with the nut butters and stuff. I've been doing caramel rice cakes and nut butters for years. So you've seen me, I put, so I've, there are two points a piece for a 50 calorie rice cake. Does that seem fair? 50 calories, two points? I don't know what to tell you. Remember what I always tell you, eat what you want. Sometimes those weekly points, yeah. You know, I could not go and not get, these were on sale for the boy. He was, you know, he sniffed my bag and sat next to it because he knew they were there. So for Bail Bail. And you know, I'm on a protein quest to find good protein powder. I kind of took out muscle milk. It was way too pointy. I just can't. So I'm trying this one, um, Op Optium Nutrition, Gold Standard Whey, vanilla ice cream. Two points for a serving, which is a scoop and 120 calories, and you get 24 grams of protein. That's a lot. So I thought this was a great, for everything included, I thought it was a good one. So again, we will have a tasting of this. I'm hopeful because I'm trying it. This might be the last one I'm gonna try in store because there's really nothing else I really wanna try in there. But I think I will probably try the one at um, Aldi though. We'll do that one last and that'll be the last one if i can't then i'm just gonna be buying the devotion that's just how it's gonna have to be but we will try this one and last but certainly not least kodiak you saw me show the kodiak has reformulated their pumpkin it used to be called pumpkin flax they don't just call pumpkin so i thought let me try it now it doesn't say that it's new or reformulated but like i said i knew it was called pumpkin flax so I thought, I didn't like the pumpkin flax. So I just had some, I just had breakfast. So I will insert what I thought of the pumpkin flax. Breakfast this morning is Kodiak pancakes. I got one, two, three, four, five of the, now this is the revamped flavor of the pumpkin. It used to be pumpkin flax. So I'm interested to see if it's any better because, you know, I love pumpkin. So I'm hope I'm hopeful. I did put a 13 of these chips in a few of the pancakes, all told, for zero points to add a little chocolate because that's what I do. But the serving is half cup, but I use a third cup for three points. Third cup of uh, unsweetened oat milk and one egg. Amp up the protein because it was just this mix. It's 14 grams of protein. So I added a little bit more. So I'm almost at 20 grams of protein. So awesome, awesome, awesome breakfast. So let's do first impression tasting shall we okay let's get our first impression it's better it's better than it was yep yep mm -hmm. still spicy but not quite as so i definitely would repurchase this well there you go. I liked it. It's it's a little bit spicy, but not near as bad as the other one. So I'm going to make some, I'm thinking of some, maybe some fun pumpkin cookies with this and or pumpkin muffins. So I'm excited to try that. So 
So yeah, it was a good, it was better. It was improved in my opinion anyway. Like I said, my opinion might not be your opinion. Your opinion might not be my opinion, but the way I, the way I see it, I, I did. I liked it better and I made pancakes with it. So it was quite, and I'm quite full. I always add an egg and um, nut milk to my Kodiak because it makes it a little more satiating, ups the protein a little bit. Can't go wrong with that. So that is it for Target. I'm a little bit disappointed, yes, but that just only means I can go back. But I did show you some other things at Target, so it wasn't a total, you know, flunk video. We got some other fun things, and um, I had a voiceover because the music and the people, so I hope you enjoyed this Target haul. I love going shopping and, you know, sharing some fun food finds with you guys. So if you enjoy these videos, let me know with a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, come join our community here on Dish with D with a subscribe. We'd love to have you comment below if there's anything here you think you might try. You don't have to try things because I do. You know, if something looks good, then do it. If not, don't buy it because I buy it. I always say that. Don't buy things. But unless you're interested, I know a lot of you are all about the cookies. And I'm all about cookies because it's cookies. The cookies are always good. So it was a kind of a cookie haul. I should I should call this video the cookie haul, but there's not that many cookies. Oh, there's a lantern fly. So that is it. I will dish with you another day. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting and thanks for supporting my channel. Have a great day.